introduce our next speaker, who has been involved in lecturing and research since 1987, spent the last 14 years as a university administrator. He um, holds a PhD in molecular virology from the Imperial College of Science, Technology and Medicine, University of London. And we know him as the Pro Vice Chancellor of the University of Ghana. Please put your hands together as we welcome Professor Kwame Ofe, our chairman. Yes. Thank you very much. Honorable Minister of State for Tertiary Education, Professor Kwesinyanka, I welcome you once again to your own university. <laughs> I stand on the protocol established by the earlier speaker. And I say welcome to the University of Ghana for those who are visiting the University of Ghana from other sister universities and other institutions. It is with great pleasure that I join you this morning to officially open this workshop on the Pedagogical Leadership in Africa, codenamed PEDAL. The University of Ghana has had a long-standing relationship with the Partnership of, for African Social and Governance Research, PASCA, and is currently part of a partnership of 12 other universities across seven African countries that offer the collaborative Master of Research and Public Policy, which began here in 2016. Today, the collaborative Master of Research and Public Policy, which is a two-year program here at the University of Ghana, has a total of 30 students at various stages of their master's program. PASGA continues to host participants from the University of Ghana at its annual training and meeting for MRPP universities. These meetings always bring together a range of stakeholders from the private sector, government, NGOs, and academia. The event also provides a platform for engagement between stakeholders and the MRPP universities and other organizations. Consistently, one theme has emerged in these meetings that has been the need for a shift from the lecture method that predominates university teaching in a majority of university classrooms in Africa towards a more innovative pedagogical approach. The emphasis on alternative pedag pedagogy that delivers exceptional learning moments that have been emphasized on the MRPP has now been concretized through this PEDAL training program. PEDAL aims at preparing graduate level teaching staff to produce social science graduates who meet Africans labor market needs and can contribute to economic and social development. This closely aligns with the University of Ghana's vision of being a world-class university committed to scholarly excellence. A key pillar for sustaining progress towards world-class status is excellence in teaching and learning in order to produce graduates who are employable and creative and able to use their education to sustain opportunities that stimulate economic growth and social transformation. The University of Ghana therefore applauds and welcomes PEDAL and will contribute towards its sustainability in the university. As a partner to the PEDAL program since 2017, the University of Ghana has played a role in the design, pilots, and has subsequently benefited from the PEDAL training. The effect of the training on quality of teaching has been immediate at the university. Staff who have trained have restructured their course outlines to incorporate new pedagogical strategies, such as case studies, flipped classroom, simulations, and role plays. Attention to gender dynamics in delivery, 
aimed at maximizing learning outcomes and producing holistically grounded graduates is given due recognition. It is for this reason that the training is very essential. PEDAL is already gaining popularity across the continent and by serving as host for the Western Hub Training Initiative, University of Ghana has positioned itself strategically, both in Ghana and in the sub-region. This collaboration will catalyze network effects to the mutual benefit of all members. Associated activities such as stage and staff exchange, peer training, online or offline co-teaching, pooling of teaching material and African teaching cases, common conferences and collaborative research to uncover emerging learning outcomes can be jointly undertaken as a result of PEDAL. It is expected that this will have far-reaching external effects in terms of catalyzing interest and spreading best practices in other universities and programs outside the social sciences. The larger the number of universities involved, the higher the international visibility and recognition of PEDAL. As universities seek pathways to equip students with 21st century skills, the right attitudes and values to apply their knowledge at the workplace and, be, and also be able to harness creative opportunities for themselves and others it will be a fulfillment of the objectives and aspirations of PEDAL. I am happy that the University of Ghana has committed this capacity building path in partnership with PASCAL. And we as a university are trying and working hard to main mainstream most of the tenants of PEDAL. It is a great joy to me and to the University of Ghana to declare the training officially open. Thank you very much. <laughs>